For the next couple of years, my family and I are traveling. Uh, we're, um, we've been looking forward to this ever since Nathan, our son, was probably eight. Now he's 12. So it was time. We got the Airstream trailer last year. We're going to just adjust weather with latitude for the next couple of years. Mexico in the winter. So, um, part of the fun of this trip was finding out where we're going to live next. We've been in Asheville, North Carolina for a long time, and that's been fun, but who knows? Maybe Prescott, Arizona, Ashland, Oregon. Most of the fun of the trip is going to be sort of seeing where we're led. We had this uh, notion that to sell the house would be more fun than just taking these little side trips. Luckily, the Airstream was Nance's idea, because when we first started talking about this trip, I got all excited about it, you know thinking with the primitive part of my brain, sort of the caveman brain, you know, thinking I needed one of those giant things, you know, one of those huge little 45-foot diesel-powered things. Well, <clears throat> it was the one with the tennis courts on the roof and the hot tub and, you know. But then luckily, Nance... Well, we couldn't find one that looked reasonable. You know, we kept looking inside them and they were all just this silly kind of etched glass and gold trim. And we said, don't you have any that are sort of just simple inside, like a sailboat, just like wood? And they said, no, people who want these want them just like this. I said, it looks sort of like Graceland in a corridor. But luckily, we found the Airstreams, and that's sort of the folk tour bus, you know, it's simple and low and a little bit lighter on the planet, you know, but you can't really get a SUV if you're a folk musician, it's sort of against the rules, you know, you're supposed to be part of the solution, but how are we going to pull this thing? We decided we, it had to be burning veggie oil. So we did the conversion on it so we can just pull up to the restaurant and get the used veggie oil. We have enough memories of buying fossil fuel, so we might as well do something different. So that was sort of back again in the simple folk realm of, you know, not being part of the problem, but uh, the old brainstem kicked in again. I started thinking with the caveman brain when I was talking with the guy who does the conversion, saying, well, how big a tank can we put on this thing? He said, well, I don't know. There's a lot of room underneath on those frame rails. We got one of those ridiculous Ford extinctions, you know, the one. So he said, well, how much you need? I said, I don't know, 100 gallons? He said, come on. What do you need to drive 1,500 miles without stopping? I said, sure, something's worth doing, it's worth overdoing, right? It's, it's what made the worst of America, so might as well. So this is about that never enough sort of thing. One man cruising on his ocean liner, one trying to keep his life boat afloat. One man trying to make his mansion finer One trying to make his house trailer go You give a guy a dollar in the parking lot And you hold his hand up for what else you got Cause there's never enough No, there's never enough I mean, even when I got everything I need I can tell myself times are tough Myself is never enough, never enough. Mm -hmm. It's like my Uncle John went to Reno, and won about a hundred grand. But he kept 
kept on trying to beat the casino, and so he played it right out of the hell. So now he's back betting the ponies, and he's trying to get back on his luck, but there's never enough. You got all 